Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my nail wheel video um, because in a couple of videos back, I can't remember what video it was now I asked if you wanted to see what's on my nail wheel like these and someone said, I can't remember who it was someone said yes please nail, nail polish video so I thought I would do it for today and sorry the lighting will keep going dodgy now it's gone black because um kind of like storming outside one minute it's raining one minute it's sunny i'm just gonna get up and do the blind hopefully that will be a bit better yeah one minute it's raining one minute it's sunny and yeah really it's just a bit annoying so yeah um there's a lot of nail polishes here so it could take a while so hold on to your hat so i've got them all lined down here lined up down here and yes um, they're not like any particular nail polish is like my favourites at the moment or anything, they're just like randomly, so sometimes they're in brands or sometimes they're for blog posts or sometimes I'll try stuff out or sometimes for nail art, etc, etc. So I'll just tell you what each one's for and yeah, let's get started. So the first wheel, I won't be able to focus by the way because it's on my phone still, is this wheel. <laughs> And by the way, if you're wondering, the wheels, I think they came in a pack of like 5 or 10 or something. So really cheap from Amazon. So I'll try and find the link and leave it below. So we'll start here. This one is, you can't really see it. This one is OPI. It's called DS Reflection DS030. Don't be fooled by the number 7 packaging, it's not a number 7 polish, it is, um, actually I'm going to go through them all first on the nail wheel just to show you so I don't have to keep focusing in and out every time I show you. So, number 7 DS Reflection DS, no not number 7 sorry, OPI DS Reflection DS030, OPI Done Out in Deco, OPI Gold Shutter, I think it may be called. Yes, Gold Shutter. Models Own. Hot Stuff. And then the next gold one wrong is Models Own. Disco Inferno. Sorry, I just had to check them. Models Own. Champagne. Accessorised Pink Spice. Look Beauty Bling with a matte finisher on top, which the matte finisher is by... Rimmel, it's the pro one. Um, Essie Mint Candy Apple with a matte finisher, and then a shutter with number seven night no, not number seven, seven, 17 night shade and OPI gold shutter. So, yeah, that's all of them. And now I will show you the colors in the bottle. So, the first one is this DS Reflection DS030. Um, don't be fooled by the number 7 bottle, my OPI bottle smashed. Actually, I should like to complain to them about that, because the lid was like screwed on as tight. I could, I was sat there for 10 minutes trying to undo the bottle, I tapped it a bit on the side, it smashed everywhere, ruined my walls, ruined my duvet and ruined my trousers. Got nail polish everywhere. So um, I emptied it because it was like nearly full and put it in a number 7 bottle. Which I'm sure not not the best thing for it, but it was a number seven colour, so I don't want to ruin it. I mean, a number seven, an OPI colour, so I didn't want to like, get rid of it. And it's just this pinky pink colour with like shimmers of silver and like an orangey tone. So that's really nice. So I'm gonna hurry up. So that's the first one there. The second one is OPI Done Out in Deco, which is a lovely light lilac, really nice light lilac. I really like this. I got this from a Sally's Beauty Store as well for about like £3 or £4 and they're normally like £11 I think so that's really good. I got this off a blog sale of Makeup Savvy um, and this is Gold Shutter and you can see the shimmers in this. They're so pretty. It's like just a gold of like silver shimmers and it's just really glittery. And that's the third one along here. Sorry for no focus and stuff, this would be good if it focused, but sadly I can't do that. The next two are really chunky, like, flecks, like, leaves of glitter. Don't know if you can see. 
there's my eyelash in the corner. <laughs> and they're really sparkly. The pink's got small pink shimmers, medium and large like flecks of pink shimmer with gold in it. And that's model zone hot stuff from the Mirable collection. You can see all the shimmers, it's so pretty. And then model zone disco inferno is this one which is like a bit chunkier with like it's gold with silver flecks as well gold and silver like glitter there i really like model zone polishes and then this is model zone champagne also bought from her blog sale of makeup savvy i really like her blog it's really nice so this one it's just like a goldy silver crossed color mixed breed <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's this one. That's really pretty. The next colour is just a random one-off one, which is Accessorised Pink Spice, which I did a blog post on, which, as always, I will leave my blog below. And I really like Accessorised Nail Varnishes. They're only £4, and they're really good. I have two, but yeah. The other one's not sponsored on here, but I do have it on my nail art wheel. And this is actually quite like the OPI DS reflection one, but it's just more glittery. Like this one's like shimmery, I'd say, and this one's glittery. So it's like a red shim um red colour with orange shimmers through it. It's like got orange tones in some lights. You can see like the orange all around it. And this is in pink spice, I think I already said that. And it's like just like the shimmeriest colour. It's so nice. It's it's really Christmassy. But it's not like rough at all it's like really smooth oh, sorry about the lighting there i'm sat in a really weird place but you know i'm sorry about like my eyes like i think i might have hay fever because they're really like tired and like red but yeah the next two colors are ones i tried a matte finisher on this one is look beauty bling is this which I love this nail varnish it's so glittery you can kind of see that it's like really good glitter as well like really chunky and I used a matte finisher on top of that and I used the Maybelline no not Maybelline the Rimmel Lycra Pro matte finisher which is really good I don't really use it that much but I was just experimenting I did a blog post on that as well and then Essie Mint Candy Apple with the matte finisher on top as well Sorry, I'm just having to reach over and get these. And this is, that is this one. Just a really nice, obviously mint colour. So I'm going to try and hurry up. Um, and then this is OPI Gold Shutter, which I showed you earlier, which is this. That's it by itself. Um, over the top of 17 Nightshade, which is just a black. This is quite grey though. Um, you had to kind of put a few coats for it to get a true black colour. Next <clears throat> nail art wheel, it's my Barry M colours and then just some random nail art I did. So I'll start with the Barry M colours. They are actually labelled apart from one because that's my newest one. So this one, oh, I'll go through them first like the last time. So this is Barry M Satsuna. Yes, Satsuma, Barry and Peach Melba, Barry and Fuchsia, Barry and Vivid Purple, Barry and Cyan Blue, Barry and Silvery Lilac, Barry and Matte White, Barry and Raspberry, Barry and Bright Purple, Barry and Black. I think it's just called Nail Effects, but I think it's actually called, yeah, on the label it says Nail Effects, but it's just like a black. And Barry and Pink Nail Effects, it's all dried up and got all crusty. And then these were, I was experimenting, putting a really sheer nail varnish on top of another colour, so it made it look nicer. And this is Maybelline Sunny Pink on top of Peach Melba and on top of Barry and Peach Melba and on top of Barry and Fuchsia. Then Barry and Silver, Silvery Lilac on top of Cyan Blue. And that's just the May, uh, Max Factor Sunny Pink on its own. This is Barry and Fuchsia with some glitter and gems, which I really like. And then my Valentine's Nails, which is Barry and Fuchsia with matte white heart with a gem. And Model Zone, the pink fleck, flecks of glitter one that I showed you earlier. Some Galaxy Nail Art, which is rubbish, and that's just like a mixture of colours. And then Barry and Peach Melb with like a uh, Look Beauty Bling Half Moon. So that goes to focus back. Sorry if 
who had my dad then. Um, so yes, first we have Barry M Satsuma, which is one of their new Jelly High Shine ones. Just like a bright orange colour, which I think is really pretty. We have Barry M Peach Melvel, which is like a peachy pink. Really nice nude. I really like that colour, it's one of my favourites. Barry M Fuchsia, which is like a bright fuchsia pink, as the name would suggest. This one's really like shimmery. It's like kind of looks black in like from far away. Like really dark purple, but then when you put it in the light, it's like sorry, my face is like lit up. Um and then you put it in the light and it's a really shimmery bright purple. So that looks kind of really dark and then like yeah, this is called Vivid Purple. It's really shiny as well. I really like it. I, re I love Barry and Melvin Ashes, they're my favourite, that's why I swatch for them because they're what I have most of. Um, cyan blue, it's just a bright blue. Silvery lilac, which is a sheer silvery greeny lilac with purple as well. Swatched here. Matte white, was it? Which is as it would suggest, a matte white. It's not very good. It dried up really quickly. Not dried up, but like went all bloopy. And I used to use these for this for um, nail tips, but I don't anymore. Like um, fake nail kind of things. So that's just a plain white. Raspberry, which is like a raspberry pinky colour. Oh shit, would for autofocus. Um, Barry M. Bright Purple, which is like a pinky, a cross between a pink and a purple, I'd say. Swatched here. And then Instant Nail Effects Crackle in a black. Which I haven't remember for a while, it's just plain black. And then instant nail effects in pink, which is literally all dried up. Like, can you see that? It's horrible. Like, ugh. Like, I can tip it upside down and it's just all gooped and dried up. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I left the lid on, off, I don't really know. But yeah, and then this is the Max Factor colours with like Peach Melba and Fuchsia. Um, this is the Max Factor Sunny Pink, which is such a pretty colour, but it's really, really sheer. It's like a lilac with reflects of gold. And that is here, just by itself. And then that's like Fuchsia here. And then that's Galaxy, and then that's Peach Melba. My last nail reel is, as you can see, my nail art one. Um, we'll start here. This is Easy Nail Art, which I learned off a blog, which I may do a video on, I may not. I did do a video on it on my camcorder, um, but I'll have to edit that on my mum and dad's laptop if I do put that up. So it's just like a really easy wavy design, which is so cool. So this, oh, this is going to take me ages again. Top one is OPI Denner and Deco. Barry M, Barry M Bright Purple and Accessorise Amethyst, which is just, oh, I should have done it like this the whole way through, that's annoying, which is a shimmery purple lilac colour, like a dark lilac I'd say, this is the orange themed one. Oh, I have another purple themed one here. I don't know why I did too. I think I tried it like different way round, different ways round. And this has vivid purple at the bottom as well. Um, this is number seven coral kiss, which is here, which is like a corally red color with Barry M. What's it called? Satsuma and Barry M. Peach Melba. It's the purpley one that I just explained. This one has four colours, but you can't really see two of the colours because they kind of blended in a bit. Um, the first colour, the bottom one, is Clutch 2000 Button Moon. Really nice light blue. Um, Essie Mint Candy Apple, Barry M Cyan Blue. Ooh, this colour from Miss Sporty. Just a really shimmery blue, and I can't remember, it doesn't have a name, but I think it's called like. No, I don't know what it's called. It probably has a name on the site though, so go and check that out. And then Collection 2000 Palmer Violets, which is the last colour. This one is Model Zone, 
the bottom colour is Model Zone Bubblegum from the Ice Neon Collection, which is the only colour I don't have because it's in the fridge because we want to keep them in the fridge because they're like so bright. Barry M Future and Barry M Raspberry. This one is Barry M. This is the pastel themed one. Barry no Essie Mint Candy Apple, Barry M Peach Malva, and OBI Donut and Deco. This one Barry M Cyan Blue Accessorize Amethyst, and this is just the random one by the way. And Barry M Satsuma. Hello. <laughs> this is like a sponged effect with like glitter on top, which has Barry M Peach Melba and Barry M Fuchsia. This one I really like. It's like a, a V shape um, of glitter, like a glitter tip, which is look beauty blue. This one, which I showed earlier. And Essie Mint Candy Apple, which is here. Mm -mm. This one is a rubbish, absolutely rubbish. I tried to go at, um, so I've got really itchy nose. At uh, Animal Print Nails, and then this is from Cute Polish Aztec Nails, which really didn't really turn out very nice, but I was quite proud of myself. So, yes. That is all the colours of my nail wheel, just randomly. And yes, I hope you enjoyed. So, it was really long, and I'll see you later. Bye.